Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not even sure where to start, Split. Uh, we've always agreed to disagree on political views. I am always and have continued to say that I believe our country is going in the wrong direction regardless of who's in charge. Because the politicians at the end of the day are for themselves. Now as far as Fox News and whatnot, the same could be said for any news organization. What we consider news is nothing but a bunch of sensationalized bullshit. It's all the same crap. It's, at the end of the day, which person is going to be the biggest draw for my competition so more ad revenue is stuck onto my station is really what it boils down to. And that doesn't matter if it's Fox, CNBC, MSNBC. It doesn't matter if it's CNN. They all do it. That's just business for them. Sensationalizing bullshit. Spinning facts. Spinning numbers. Spinning stuff that creates hysteria, that creates issues, that creates people to quote unquote think about problems. Instead of actually, you know, being objective and informative, it's sensationalized and stupid and you know, basically you can't believe anything that comes out of any anchor man's mouth, be it people like Glenn Beck, be it people like uh, you know, Al Franken. They don't give a shit about us. They don't give a shit about the people. They can preach and practice it all they want because they don't practice what they preach. They can say they do, but they don't. Now, as far as... Now, people like Alex Jones and Glenn Beck are that side of the world. But on the same note, you also have the crazy nut job jockeys over on the left that do the same thing that are oh we can't do anything you know you know the like fringe nut job PETA crazy fucks that you know oh they built a hotel let's burn it okay so you guys are fighting so you don't pollute the you know you don't want the hotel there so it doesn't pollute but yeah we're gonna start a really big bonfire and that's gonna help not pollute okay yeah makes a lot of sense You know, it, it's that kind of stuff. You know, there's fringe groups that all these people try to, you know, freaking energize. And the most vocal minority, the most vocal are the minority. So, people like Glenn Beck who will say, oh, NWO is coming, you know, Apocalypse is here, and blah, 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 blah. It's all sensationalized shit. They use what, you know, I'll say 60% of the country goes with, you know, it's Christianity in some way, shape, or form. And they use it to spin it in their own way. And that's crap. And unfortunately, 60% of the country usually falls for this stupid shit. Now, as far as the actual health bill is concerned, I will actually comment one way on this. There are issues with our health care system. I will not deny that fact. My question becomes, point me to one government program that the government has been able to run right. You can say VA care, um, didn't they close down Walter Reed for certain issues because veterans care sucked? Um, don't point me to Social Security because I believe that's supposed to be going bankrupt pretty soon. Don't point me to Medicare and Medicaid because guess what? Those are already bankrupt. So point me to a program that the government can actually run right 
that doesn't have overhead, that doesn't have more bureaucrats, that doesn't have more red tape, that doesn't have a department overseeing another department, that doesn't have a, another department overseeing that one. Because you're not going to find one. The government is incapable of running anything that it should be left to the privatized sector. However, the government can regulate the private sector to control things like cost, which they are not doing. They're more concerned with essentially providing a one single payer system for the government, the public option as it were. In the state I live in, we have a system called Derigo uh, Health. Derigo Health. It's supposed to provide insurance for all the uninsured. Okay, cool. Um, last I knew, there was less than a thousand families on Drigo Health. Why? Because we have essentially two healthcare providers in the state I live in. We have Anthem, and well, quite frankly, Anthem's it. Because Aetna just got here, and the contract that the state of Maine has is with Anthem because they for the last 10 plus years have been the only insurance provider in my state because of anti-competitive crap that my state has done to drive other insurance companies out of state just as an example my parents they had a $10,000 deductible they were paying $1,500 a month for a $10,000 deductible that covered nothing. Basically. $1,500 a month? Why the hell even bother having insurance? It's because Anthem keeps jacking up the premiums. The premiums keep going up because we're running on a bankrupt system like Medicaid and Medicare where Anthem and all these other insurance companies are paying the hospitals because Medicaid and Medicare only pay so much by saying, yep, this is how much we're paying you. That's government regulation. That's a government-run system. It doesn't work. There's still a cost to the product. There's still a cost at the end of receiving that. Now, you can debate the cost of treatment. And is the cost of treatment fair? No. And that is where people don't seem to go though you know just my thoughts my outlook on it